Hello everyone. In this webcast, we're going to talk about another application of a pulley system. For example, um, a basic uh, simplified um, counterweight elevator. If we assume this is uh, the elevator E and this is our counterweight and the elevator moves up and down, use, we have two pulley here, they just attached. We're not getting any mechanical advantage because there is no suspended pulley. Those both are fixed, but uh, we have a counterweight. So um, the way uh, normally we set up a counterweight is that if the counterweight would be equal to the empty um, elevator. So here we have the same empty elevator and the counterweight is the same. Plus, if if you design your elevator for a full load um, and the counter counterweight would be same as the car and the half of the full load. So here, what I mean is that they are same. The counterweight is equal to the um, weight uh, of the car moving elevator. If I assume that the maximum weight, uh, maximum um, weight when it's full is additional 100 gram my counterweight would be addition of 50 gram okay so in this way um, this is the normal general formula for um, counterweight so before that um, we're gonna talk about um, how I ordered the benefit of using a counterweight first uh, benefit is that it is it makes um, the system more safe so when you have counterweight when it's something is pu pulling or uh, raising the tension is less on, on an elevator so if I didn't have a counterweight all the weight of the elevator would be on this cord and the tension would be higher the strain would be higher it will be less safe with the, with the counterweight the uh, strain is less uh, and then it's more safer and it is also easy for uh, the motor to pull an elevator if we don't have a counterweight it will go super fast and it is less uh, it will be more um, uh, power needed on the on the motor if we have a counter um, balance it will be less force um, the less power needed on the uh, motor and um, also counterweight helps to um, the big help comes when it, when it comes to the point of break if I don't have a counterweight if my elevator falls due to gravity it will gain so much speed uh, for the motor to make it break with the counterweight it will go slow um, and uh, you can have um, lower break to stop it whenever you need so these are the benefit of using a counterweight um, and when and also uh, when they said that a normal um, assumption of putting a counterweight is the same as the weight of the car itself empty car and half of the full load so if I my full load is 100 gram my half uh, I'll add half of the full load which is 50 gram on the counterweight so the reason we put um, half of the full load because we wanted to balance um, the force between uh, the lower extreme and higher extreme which would be empty and full um, it would be better if we could do variable counterweight but which is not possible so the, that's why we make a, a medium average of the empty elevator and then full elevator um, so uh, um, it's more efficient so uh, now let's see how um, it helps the counterweight helps um, using the pulley system so here is the simple arrangement of um, the simple or basic uh, counterweight elevator where this is our elevator where we have um, the maximum load um, full load which is I added 100 gram so the counterweight would be same as the car and half of the full load so 50 gram um, this is uh, we have solved um, similar problems with pulley in our dynamics course injury mechanics dynamics here uh, is another example of pulley um, system 
Um, so you see with with the counterweight when I want to pull I'm kind of um, using 0.5 Newton to pull it up or down now if I just move the counterweight it falls to more than one so see how counterweight helps to reduce the load um, that we need um, to uh, pull the uh, elevator